All right, hello everybody, it's me, Cullen, back with you with another episode of Plagic Shave. Excuse me for not wearing a shirt, uh, but it's awful hot. My air's on, it's set for 68, but it's just stuffy in this bathroom today. I don't want to open the door because the dog and the cat come in here, and then they knock everything over while the cat does. The dog lays down behind me and I trip over him. Um, but today we will be using another favorite of mine, which is Sterling Mountain Man. I believe this is a dupe of um, Creed Silver Mountain Water Lake or something like that. But it, this is just one of my absolute favorite soap scents ever. Um, and if y'all know me, I always have the splash. Um, but just to show you how much uh, I enjoy this scent. I have the balm too, and that's not me, but this scent is just amazing. Uh, excuse me, have some sinus congestion going on there. That's pretty gross. Um, today's brush, wiping the soap off of it, is my sun making required. Uh, with the very, this is the very first handle ever made with the new coin in it from Philip. It has a 26 millimeter SHD fan knot that I have gel. Today I'm using my Twin Pines wood turning resin bowl. And look at that beautiful lather. Look at it trying to goop out that Sterling always makes. And once again, with my hard water, I'm having to use uh, way more soap that's fine and uh very special announcement today for y'all um you know i'm a big supporter of twin pines wood turning uh these resin bowls they make are just absolutely fabulous um when i used to lather um, the way i first started i would just go at it like a crazy person i would i couldn't lather out of these um because it's built over the top and everything else. Um, but since I have restructured my lathering technique more towards the way that CDB does, and I'm getting way better lather, um, more consistent lather, these bowls are absolutely perfect. Um, my copper bowl is perfect. Um, my Pereira bowl, I enjoy it even more now. But I have them making me another one of these. Uh, that's going to be my colors for, uh, you know, that my leg was of Plagic Shave. But when talking to them, um, I asked them if they'd be interested in offering my viewers, um, any of my subscribers and followers on Instagram and on my YouTube channel, a special discount code. Um, now, this doesn't work like when you check out, you put in your code and it works. You have to message them if there's something on their shop that you already like, like a bowl or whatever. You have to message them first and tell them what you're wanting. Um, like go to that item and then message them about it. Use the code PLAGICSHAVE10 and they will adjust the price by 10%. Uh, if you want a custom bowl make made when you message them for your colors, Pelagic Shave 10, they'll knock 10% off for you. But uh, that's my great news. I'm going to put the their Etsy link in all my videos from now on. Um, but let's get on with the shave. And as soon as I get my new uh, bowl, I will be showing that off and posting videos with it. This sterling soap is just the scent of it. it is one of my favorites. Um, most Creed Adventist dupes, I absolutely love. Um, but it's kind of funny because 
Sterling has, I believe it's, I can't remember what that, it's called something man. Um, Y'all know what it's called. And I just don't like it. But I have a Sphinx soap, which is Annie. Um, their Kaizen base is called La Fracture something like that. I believe it's the same as Spartan, um, but not as, uh, not as strongly scented as Peter doesn't scent their soaps. As strong as he does his. And I just realized I didn't say what we were using today for razor. Today I'm using my Lupo 0.95 with that Alpha Gunslinger handle. Uh, this handle is great. It's all aluminum, but because because of the size of it, um, it makes up for the light weight of aluminum. Um, when I got it, I believe it's just like a machine finish. I polished it. Uh, blade wise, I don't remember what I'm using. Um, it's a Gillette something. It might be the seven o'clock black. It kind of feels like it. The reason I say that because you Gillette seven o'clock black. And all of my razors is not very good. Um, this blade I felt is best paired with a less aggressive razor. Something that has less blade exposure. Um, this blade works beautifully with it. I used to really enjoy this blade when I had my Mamba 70. It was really good in it. It was real good in my, I always thought it was a Mercury 34C I had. But I found out it was not. It was a different one. It was a bit longer, a bit heavier, and apparently the handle was just a tad bit different. Um, but it was great in that. I don't have that razor anymore. I got uppity for a while and I got rid of all my, what I considered cheap razors. Um,
because I had um, I tried a lot of the lower end razors and I wanted to experience the difference between the low end razors and the $200 razors. Um, it's not that I had anything against the I'm not going to call them cheap razors because uh, cost doesn't have anything to do with how good they shave. Um, but um, I forgot where I was going with it. But I got rid of my inexpensive, I will say, razors. Um, and I'm actually Um, going to be revisiting some of the less expensive ones um, because like this Razor Rock Lupo 0.95 it shaves great um, does it shave as good as my $300 plus Blackbird Titanium it's probably really really close Home like start solid stainless steel. Does it shave as good as this? Yes. Um, is this a more comfortable shaver? Yes, it's a lot smoother. Um, so there's differences when it comes to, uh, I guess it's the quality. Um, not saying this isn't a smooth razor, because it is. Uh, this is. You know, a stainless steel CNC milled razor head. You know, where the tolerance is different between this head and that one, I don't know. Um, You know, granted, I see the head I have on this is a 1.18 gap. So this is a 0.95. Uh, The home like start doesn't feel as aggressive. As the Lupo 95 does. Now, if you put on the point, I think it's a point nine oh plate on that one. Um, any of y'all that are looking for a Paradigm Diamondback, you put the 0.90 plate on that. Um, 
to me, it felt almost exactly alike. You're talking about a hundred dollar razor. Um, versus one that's not made anymore, but when it was made, it sold for, you know, $230, I believe is what it was. Um, it was a very good razor. I had one. Enjoyed it. Um, it was a good shaver. Um, when I first got it, I complained because it felt too mild. And I was talking to my buddy about it. Um, and he brought up a good point. He said, is it too mild and inefficient or is it just too mild? I said, well, it's definitely efficient. Um, I said, so it gave me a good shave. It just didn't have the feel that I like on my face. The efficiency is great. It's a great shaver, very comfortable, smooth. Um, it just didn't have enough blade feel. I believe they are negative exposure. May not be. Um, but the home like start with the point I believe it's 0 0.90 plate um, to me feels exactly the same with maybe just a tad bit more blade feel but uh let me rinse the face all of that and i'll be back with you and i'm going to shave my head too so when i come back my head's going to be nice and shiny um so see you in a few all right we are back uh, to recap today's shave. Sorry, that was a little while. Shave my head. Took a nice gash out back there, not paying attention. Today we used Twin Pines Wood Turning Bowl. Um, this thing is just absolutely beautiful. Find them on Etsy. Artisan Don Brown, Don Bird. Sorry, I don't know why I said Don Brown. Twin Pines Wood Turning. Their sticker is under resin, so you don't have to worry about it coming off. Absolutely phenomenal work. $45. Like I mentioned, um, if you go to their Etsy shop, message them if you see something you like. There goes another washer down the drain. Uh, if you see something you like, message them. Mention the code Pelagic Shave 10 and you'll receive 10% off. Uh, today we use the Razor Rock Lupo 0.95 solid stainless steel CNC machined head um, on top of the Alpha shaving gunslinger handle, all aluminum. I used my Sun Making Required 26 millimeter badger brush and bump in the phone there and then we're going to finish it off with some mountain man oh then you know hot water rinse cold water rinse witch hazels uh, my magic hyaluronic acid face oil serum shake it up because you got to shake it up um So 
such an absolutely phenomenal scent. Let's throw some balm on that. My face has so much skin stuff on it. Probably take an hour and a half to absorb this balm. Um, but that was today's shave, in case you're wondering what I use for my noggin. Razor of choice, Lupo DLC. Uh, but thank you for joining me for another sh episode of Pelagic Shave. Have a great day and have a Pelagic Shave. We'll catch you next time on the next episode of Pelagic Shave. Take care. Stay safe. God bless.